Before Ramadan, I got involved in a major sin by having sex with a woman from escort service in Delhi. I don't know how I got involved in this act. I regret it now. Do I have a chance of forgiveness in this month of Ramadan? I cannot sleep or walk or talk to anyone about my condition. I got into zones of darkness. I am from a very religious family. Because of this, I got frustrated. I had no hope left inside me. I am not getting any job. By paying 5,000 rupees to this escort woman, now I can't help myself. I may commit suicide. Please help me out. I would like to tell you, brother, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that He is Rahman or Rahim. He is most merciful and most forgiving. He is most compassionate. And one of His sifat, one of His attribute is He is most compassionate, most loving, and He is also forgiving. And a beloved Prophet said that you may do any sin as tall as the mountains, as big as possible, as numerous as possible. If you repent sincerely, inshallah, Allah will forgive your sin. And the Prophet Muhammad also said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stretch it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stretches his hand at night, seeking forgiveness from all the human beings who have sinned the full day. And he stretches out his hand in the morning to forgive all the human beings who repent, who have sinned the full night. So my request to you, brother, is that you seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity and Allah inshallah will forgive you. And there are certain prerequisites for seeking forgiveness. In which case, inshallah Allah will forgive your sin. Number one is agree that the sin you're doing is wrong and which I can see you've already done that. Number two, stop it. Number three, seek for forgiveness. Number four, do not do it again. And number five, undo it if you can. For example, if you have robbed something, then return it back. But in your case, I already have, we already know that you have agreed it is wrong. And, and inshallah, you stop it. You seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and see to it, you don't do it again. And Ramadan was a very good month. And I'm sure you might have asked for forgiveness. And Layatul Qadr is one of the night which comes once in a year, every year. And it is equal to a full lifetime. As Allah says, one night is equal to a thousand months. Now, since Ramadan is over, according to Ibn Qayyum, may Allah have mercy, he says that the one day in a week, that is Friday, is like Ramadan in the whole month. And the one hour on Friday, that is one hour after Asr, where Allah forgives the sins of all those who ask for forgiveness, is like the Layatul Qadr. So I request you that you see to it that on Friday, one hour after Asr, before Maghrib, one hour where Allah forgives all the sins, you sincerely seek for forgiveness, as well as every day in Tajjud. The best time is the last one third of the night, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heavens and he asks is there anyone who is there to ask and I will give is there anyone ask me for forgiveness and I will forgive so these two times that is during the during the tahajjud salah in sujood during the last one third of the night as well as one hour after asr on Friday if you seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu sincerely inshallah Allah will forgive you and this is the beauty of Islam and the biggest thing that you do, if you ask for forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and if you leave that sin, Allah will give you a reward equal to that big sin. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he forgive your sin, and I pray to it that you stop this act and you never indulge it again in your lifetime.